Ah, yes. Before the digital downloads and CDs, there was the tape cassette. <gasps> Perhaps you made a mixtape back in the 80s or 90s. Yes. And if you can believe it, they are making sort of a comeback. Soon, one company will be the only one left on the planet making them. You're kidding me. Team 12's Taylor Hemnes takes us for a trip through the past and into the future. Plus, play, record right now. <laughs> the building was built in the 1880s. Most of the equipment inside. Built in the 1960s, 70s, 80s. And as we say, our really new equipment was built in the early 90s. But try telling the folks at National Audio that their product <laughs> is extinct. When I started here, my son, he told me, he says, uh, you don't want that job. The cassettes are going out of business. And I've been here 16 years. They're making cassette tapes, cranking out thousands every day. Every step includes a process or piece of equipment that feels like it's from another time. It will run them through, put the cellophane wrap on them, bring them out this end, and put them here. They're working with small vans that you may have never heard of, but also big companies. <laughs> films and shows that you know well. We do the duplication for Disney, for Sony, and we actually work for about 3,400 record labels worldwide. Which may explain who's buying all these tapes. The people who are really driving this return to audio cassettes are the under 35 age group. They are the people who were raised knowing MP3s and earbuds and compressed music. But what the people here at National Audio Company are most excited about is this machine. Once it's up and running in just a few months, they will be able to make their own cassette tape, the actual tape that goes into the plastic part of the cassette. Once they do that with this machine, they'll be the only company in the world doing it. This is the bonding agent in carbon black, basic iron oxide. All that will go into the creation of the tape they'll need to stay in business. We knew we had to make tape if we were going to continue, so that's what we've done. But in a sense, they're not really in the tape business. Barb's been here for more than 15 years and spends her days covered in the stuff. But she doesn't see it as just tape anymore. This is somebody's dream, and uh, I hope it works out for them. Even if she's happy to leave those dreams at work. Oh, I don't listen to music when I get out of here. I want some peace and quiet. <laughs> she still listen to it constantly. I remember my first cassette tape was Gloria Estefan. Now that is classic. Oh, oh my gosh. My, Come on, baby. Take a little, that rumba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Mine was Pearl Jam 10. <laughs> There's something so personal about making the cassette tape, right? You, you oh, yeah. choose your songs carefully, then you hand right. write in each song. Right? Yes. Then you give it to your, your crush or to, you know, your best buddy. Did your crush like Pearl Jam? <laughs> no, that was no. just my first cassette tape. Oh, uh, National.